So we've used some JavaScript to grab um, a node from the DOM and edit what's inside there. So basically, so like we can grab a P element and we can mess with the text that's inside of it. Or we could grab a div and we can mess, mess with the inner HTML of that. And in doing that, we could tack in um, different tags and stuff. And we could use concatenation, which is when you write whatever, plus equals, and then the new stuff, which means it'll grab whatever it already had and add new stuff onto the end of it. But there's an alternate way that we can do this as well using some different JavaScript methods. So this is to show you that alternate way. Um, and we're actually asking methods to create DOM elements explicitly instead of just concatenating them in to the inner HTML of the elements. So here's an example. Um, what if I want to detect some specific values, maybe like the date or the time or whatever, and I want to use that information to attach a different style sheet file to styling the page. So if I'm looking at the DOM of a basic page here, um, I know that my style sheet usually goes as a link element inside the head. So the trick is to basically create a link element that's not attached to anything yet. Find this head node from my document. And then I'm going to append a new um, branch off of it. Um, and these little branches, but we'll, we refer to them as children. So here's what that looks like in practice. So um, again, when you usually put a style sheet in, this is what it looks like, right? It's a link element. We've got rel attribute set equal to style sheet and href attribute set equal to the name of the file. So this would be several different files and then I'm deciding which one do I want to attach. Okay. So step one is to create the element. So generically that's like, let's make a variable for the new element and to ask the document to create it. The code is document dot create element. And then inside here you put what kind of element or what kind of tag you want. So specifically for a style sheet, I'm going to say there new link equals document dot create element. And inside here I'm putting link, which is the name of the tag. Now, before I actually attach it into the DOM, I want to actually set some attributes. So that's step two. So the general format for that is to take the name of the element you just made. The method is dot set attribute. Here's the name of the attribute and here's the value you want to set it to. So I need to set rel and href for a style sheet. So I'm going to say new link dot set attribute rel comma style sheet and new link dot set attribute href comma Here's the name of my file. So if I was detecting and attaching different style sheets, depending on what was happening, this is the part that I could control with like an if statement or something. And here I could change what the file name is that I'm, I'm adding. Okay. And then there's a final step. We need to like go into the DOM and actually stick this piece in there. So here's step three in general, um, because there's usually more than one of an element. I have to use get elements by tag name. Um, if I don't have ID set, even though it has only one element, I still have to use this. So in general, it's document get elements by tag name. Here's the tag dot item will access the array um, that has been retrieved. And then I'll say which one So zero, one, two, whatever. And then the action to actually hook the new node in is dot append child and the name of my new element. So in my particular example, I'm going to say document get elements by tag name head, even though I know there's only one head element, this is kind of a generic function. So it doesn't know, but since I know it's one, it's going to be at index zero. So I'm going to say dot item zero dot append child and my child was named new link. So now my link, my style sheet is inside the head part of the document object model.